Hey everyone, this is Cindy and I just wanted to bring another mini idea to you. Um, if you watched my any of my videos where I was making this journal for the Just Junk Journal Challenge, we can only use junk, and I had talked about I was getting rid of a swag that had been in my dining room forever. It had sunflowers in it, and I was getting rid of the sunflowers, and when I say getting rid of, I mean taking to Goodwill, because they were just really big and thick, and I thought there's no way I can use those in a junk journal, except when I was doing this challenge, I dug them out, and I just peeled them apart and used part of it for the uh, cover and it's flatter than uh, you know the thick flower. So anyway, um, when I was a while back when I was taking that swag apart, I kept most of the leaves that came with it, and um, I had looked at them and thought, you know, if they didn't have this plastic on the back, I sure could use these probably a lot better. Well, then I just took that leaf and just thought, how easy is it to take the plastic off? Well, it's very easy. Uh, they peel right off and I had when I was doing the sunflowers part of it was a little bit more stubborn so I just um, took it to the microwave zapped it for like 10 seconds 15 and it came right off but it wasn't hot enough to do any uh, damage to the plastic or you know create any fumes or anything so anyway I had once I did this with my swag you know I had this big old bag of leaves and I thought uh, the smaller ones I had used some maple leaf ones, which weren't on this flag, but I used them on a fall journal I made, and I made tabs out of them. Uh, just, I'm not sure, I just probably just glued it on there and made a tab on it. So that's, these smaller ones can be done that way. And actually, I'm working on another challenge um, for, it's called the February Fabric Junk Journal Challenge. And we can we have to use uh, so much fabric in our journal, but um, mine's going to be botanical themed. So I'm thinking I can just take this divider. I'm doing a five ring binder, and just staple or glue one of those leaves on there as a tab, and that would be real cute for a botanical garden, uh, not garden, uh, journal. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do with the smaller ones or some of them. But the larger ones, I thought, what can I do with these big old things? And I thought, I know, I'll glue it on some cardstock. And it'll either be a journaling card, or it can be a tuck spot, or a pocket. So that's what I did. And I actually glued these several months ago. And you can see they're still stuck down very well. I used um, Fabri-Tac, and it did great. But I thought, well, what if I, you know, they don't do great. What if I zigzag around it? So that's what I did on this one. I just did a zigzag stitch. And the thread I used is variegated thread, so you can kind of tell on the point how it gets darker green. And I just tapered my stitch, stitch size on the point there. But um, there you can see the colors better. So anyway, that was just an idea. If you've got some old silk flowers around that you're not going to use, if you got big uh, flowers, I mean leaves, you can be they can become journaling cards. Maybe even some of the larger petals could be done that way as, as well. But I don't have any probably large enough. But possibility and then these could be decorations it could be part of a collage it could be a, a tab on your pages so anyway just another quick idea so thanks for watching bye